Hi everyone, welcome to another Yarn Scrap Friday with me, Laura, and uh, this week I'm going to be showing you how to make a granny triangle. So it's not a granny square, but a granny triangle. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually using a super bulky, super chunky yarn and, and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, but you can use any yarn that you like and any hook that works well with the yarn you want to use. And uh, to make a granny triangle, we're gonna start off with three sets of double crochets, this is in US terminology, in the middle. And then on each corner of our triangle, we do two sets here. You can see we've got two sets on that corner, two sets on that corner, two sets on that corner. Then when we get to the third round, you can see on the corners we have our two sets here in the same hole, two sets here in the same hole, and two sets here in the same hole. But on the edges, we just have the one set. And that will continue for no matter how big you make it. So let's begin and show you how to make this. Okay, so we're gonna take our yarn, and the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to chain four. So we're gonna get create a little Four chain loop to begin. So we're going to do our slip knot to get our first loop on our hook, and then we're going to chain four. So you chain four to begin. One, two, three, and four. So we're going to chain four to begin. And then what we're going to do is we're going to find our first chain that we created and put our hook into our first chain. So you find your first chain and just put your hook into there. I'm going to bring the yarn through that first chain and then bring it straight through the loop on your hook. And that basically creates a little loop of your four chains joined at the beginning and the end. And in the middle, obviously, is going to be a hole. So there's your four chains going round and in the middle is your hole. And into there, we are going to work some stitches. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create our first double crochet, which effectively is going to be chaining three. So from here, we're going to chain three. So one, two, and three. And we're gonna count that as a double crochet. It's in US terminology. I'm gonna count that as a stitch. So that's gonna be one of our set of three. Then what we're going to do is we are going to work two double crochet into this center hole of your four chain loop. So we're going to yarn over, I'm going to put our hook into that center hole. Make sure you go into the center hole and not your chain one space, uh, your chain one that you did. You need to find that center hole. Put your hook in there, bring the yarn through the middle, and then just wrapping it around the chains, we do a double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two. Okay, so now we've got two technically double crochets and and we do another one so yarn over and go back into that center again bring the yarn through the middle and do a double crochet then what we need to do is we need to create a little bit of space in between our set of three double crochets don't forget we're counting those first three chains as a double crochet so to create a little bit of space in between our sets, we are going to chain three. And we're always going to chain three in between our sets. So chain one, two, and three. So that creates a little bit of space between our sets of three double crochet. Then we're going to work three double crochet into this center hole again. So we yarn over, get back into that center, and work three double crochet, just wrapping it around the chains. It doesn't matter how many chains you've got now. There's one double crochet, yarn over, get back into the center and do another double crochet, two, and then yarn over, go back into the center again, bring the yarn through, do another double crochet. So you've got three double crochet in that set there. You might just want to pull the stitches over to create room. Then we need to create uh, a bit of space in between our last set. Because in the, on the very first round here, we're going to have three sets of our three double crochets. So we're going to chain three again. One, two, 
three to create some space in between our, our last set. And um, we're going to do three double crochet in that center again. So we're going to yarn over, get back into the center, and do three more double crochet. Pull through two, pull through two, move it over. So that's one and two. And then one more double crochet to the center, bring the arm through, pull through two, pull through two. And if you're new to crochet and you're a little bit new to the double crochet, I do recommend checking out my beginner stitch tutorials and then coming back just so you get really good at doing the double crochet. And then we need a little bit of space between our last set and our first set of three in our chain. So we're going to chain three again, one, two, three. Then we need to slip stitch into the top of our chain three at the beginning. Remember we did our chain three, which we're counting as a double crochet. There's our first chain, there's our second, there's our third. Okay, so find that third chain, one, two, three, and put your hook in there, going under two little bits of yarn, just put your hook in there, and bring the yarn through that third chain, then bring it straight through the loop on your hook to do a slip stitch. And that joins the end of round one. Okay, and you see, as you can see, we've got three sets of three double crochet. We're counting the chain three as a double crochet. And in between our sets of three, we've got three chains. So three chain spaces. And these are the spaces we're going to be working into on round two. So the first thing to do is we're going to chain three and count that as a double crochet again. So one, two, three. We're gonna count that as a double crochet, but as you can see, we've got a set in the way. We need to work it into this three chain space. So we're going to count this chain three as our last, our last double crochet, which we're going to finish here. So we're going to count those three chains as a double crochet. Then we need to create our space to get over to do our first set, basically. So on top of your three chain, because there's a set in the way, we're going to chain three on top of that as well. So one, two, three. So effectively you chain six at the beginning if there is a set in the way, because you can't work into the set. We have to work here. And to get over here, we need our three chain space in between. So we've got our three chain space in between, then our three chains counting as a double crochet. So then skip that first set, find your first three chain space, and into there we are going to work three double crochet to begin. So put your hook just in that big gap, three chain space in there and do three double crochet. So one, two, and then three. And because this is on a corner, all three of these chain spaces are on the corner. You've got one on this corner, one on that corner, one on that corner. And in, as I said at the beginning of the video, in each corner of your triangle, granny triangle, you need to work two, two sets. So what we're going to do, and in between each set, we need to chain three. So there's our first set in that first three chain space. So then we chain three, one, two, three, to create our space in between our next set. But we're going to go back into the same three chain space and do another three double crochet. So go back into the same three chain space and do another three double crochet. So that's one. Two. And three. Okay, so on that corner we have done our two sets, and in between our two sets we've got our space, our three chain spacer. Okay, so three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. And now we need to move over to the next corner, so in between this set and the next one we need to chain three. So one, two, 
three, which goes over our set there. Then in here we do the same, we do three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. So in the three chain space, just wrapping it around the chains. So we do three double crochet, one, back in there again, two, three, so three double crochet, move them over a bit. Then chain three, one, two, three. And then we do three double crochet in the same three chain space. So one, two, and the last one, three. So in this corner, this a three chain space on this corner. We have done the same thing again. We've done three double crochet, chain three spacer, three double crochet. Okay, so you can see it starting to take shape. Then we need to move over to our last three chain space. And to do that, we need to chain three, one, two, to get our spacer in there, to go over our set there. And in here, we're going to do three double crochet, chain three but then only two double crochet because we were counting these three chain as a double crochet if you remember. So in this last three chain space start off with three double crochet one two and three just move that over then get our spacer three chains one two, three, chain three. And then because we're counting these first three chains out of our six as a double crochet, we're just gonna finish up with two double crochet at the end. Okay, so in that same three chain space, we're going to do one and two, just two. So I lost that, just one. And that's that second one, two double crochet, just two double crochet. Then what we need to do is find our third chain of our six. So there's one, two, three, find that third chain. Put your hook in there. Do a little slip stitch to join around. Okay, and then those first three chains count. As you can see, it becomes a set of three. So there we go, that's the end of round two. So you can see we've only had corners to work with on our second round, this corner, this corner, this corner. And on each corner we need to do three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, like so. But on the next round, we're going, we're going to have corner there, corner there, corner there, but we're also going to have one, two, three side sets as well. And in these side ones, we only do three double crochet. But I will show you what to do now. So. Chain three to begin, one, two, three. Again, count that as a double crochet. But this time we don't have a set in the way, we have a nice three chain space in the way. So we can go straight into there and do two double crochet. Go straight into there, do two double crochet. One and two. And we only do two because, there we go. And we only do two because we're counting those first three chains as a double crochet. You can see you've got your set there. So then we're going to move on to a corner. We need to chain three in between. So one, two, three. And because we're on a corner of our triangle, we need to do the same thing again. Three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. So put your hook into there and do three double crochet. One, two, three, three double crochet, and then chain three. One, two, three, and then going back into the same three chain space, we're going to do three double crochet again. Same space because it's on the corner. One. Three. 
three double crochet. Okay, so because that's on the corner, we do our three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. But because that was on the side, we only do only have three double crochet. And again, we're moving over to the side now. This is on the side of our triangle. So in this three chain space, we're just doing three double crochet. But remember to chain three in between. One, two, three. So just three double crochet in there. One, two, oops, and three. Okay, so just three double crochet in there because it's on the side. But then we're at a corner, so we're going to do, that's right, three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. We need to chain three in between, one, two, three, so we can get up to this corner and then do our three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet, all in the same three chain space. So one, two, three, one, two's down, chain three, one, two, three, three double crochet in the same three chain space because it's on the corner. One, two, three. Okay, so there's that on the corner. See, we just did one set on the edge and then two sets, the chain three space on the corner. And then we're onto a side, so we're just going to do three double crochet. We need to chain three first. One, two, three. We always chain three in between our sets. And a three double crochet set in there. One, two, and three. Okay, just three double crochet on the side there. And then this is a corner, so we're going to do three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. Chain three first, one, two, three, and then do that. Three double crochet. One, two, three. Down, then chain three. One, two, three, then three double crochet again in the same three chain space because it's on the corner. One, two, three. Okay, like so. So we've got our same thing again, one set there and then two sets on the corner. And we can finish up with the three double crochet instead of two because our three chain space is at the beginning rather than the end. So, because there was a nice space to work into straight away. But to finish up, we need to do a spacer. So chain three, one, two, three, and then find your third chain. There's one, two, three, your third chain at the very beginning and slip stitch into there to join the round and then that's it that's the end of your granny triangle granny square triangle <laughs> if i put that down you can have a good look so there we go so you could just stop there if you wanted to and uh, turn this into and um, you could join lots of them together to make it into a blanket or whatever or you could just keep going you can make this bigger and bigger and bigger um if you use a I always like using a slightly thinner yarn, so sort of like a, an Aran worsted weight yarn, but with a quite a big hook, so a nice sort of 6.5, 7mm, the bigger the hook, and then that creates a really nice drape, and you could turn this into a shawl um, or blanket or something just by keep going and going and going. So for the next round, what you would actually do is you would find you would be faced with a set in the way, so you would have to do your chain six again, so one two, three, which would be your double crochet at the end rather than the beginning, but we have to chain six. So three on top of that, one, two, three, because we need that as a spacer to get to go over to our first three chain space. And then all we would do is three double crochet in here. 
We would only do one set here because it's on the side. We'd only do three double crochet in here. Do that quickly because it's on the side. And the same here, these because these two, you've got two on the side now instead of one. So you'd have three double crochet in there. Uh, you would do two double crochet at the end there because you've got that three chain counting as a double crochet at the very end. But on the corners, you would do the same thing again. You would do your three double crochet, chain three, three double crochet. You would do that on the corners, but only one set of three on the edges. And you just keep growing, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, I hope you managed to follow along and uh, please subscribe, uh, I always appreciate your subscriptions and you get notified of all my latest videos um, if you subscribe and please comment and uh, let me know what you think and I will see you soon for some more crochet fun. Thanks for watching guys!